Hey folks, how's it going? Are you doing okay? I'm not doing okay. I'm just I'm just gonna be real with you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, before we really dig into why it is that I am not okay right now, uh, I want to give a big thank you to those of you who shared last week's video over on Twitter at Nico Neeks, at Last Trainer Bell at Matthew3645, and at ilovely. Thanks so much for sharing last week's Stars Aligned video, everybody, and thanks to all of you who continue to support the Stars Aligned video. It is super appreciated. And it has been quite the roller coaster. And if I'm totally real, I watched a lot of people drop off the Stars Aligned train. And uh, honestly, I, I think they may have been right to do so. And that, that sucks to say, but let's actually dig into why that is. So if you guys didn't see it on Twitter, Kazuki Akane, the director and series composer, uh, when I say composer, I don't mean like in terms of music, I mean in terms of writing the script. Uh, he put on Twitter that apparently the powers that be told them back in spring that instead of getting the 24 episodes that they had planned for, that they were actually only going to be getting 12. And so with most of the work, like I'm assuming most of the pre-pro done, Akane decided to go forward with the original plan for the first 12 episodes and then sort of leave it at that, hoping that maybe, just maybe, there'd be enough fan outcry for a follow-up season that they could actually finish the second core of the show properly in what would, I guess, now be a second season. It was meant to be a two-core show, and they only got one. And that is blatantly obvious in the last couple minutes of this week's episode. And I mean, and the thing that sucks, you know what really sucks? Those last couple minutes were the best that the show has been. <laughs> like, it is, it was so good, and this is a good show. So for me to say that says something. Now, don't get me wrong. The show has been letting me down lately. And I mean, now that we know that this show went through production hell, a lot of things make a lot more sense. Like a lot of the constant, constant reuse of animation tells me that they were like, they were animating this thing to the wire, like like on the de like handing it in on the deadline type shit. Like, it, it all makes sense now. Because I'm telling you, there was moments where this show was starting to remind me of Just Because. And I don't know if you guys remember Just Because, but that's another show where I really liked the characters, and I really liked what they were doing narratively. But the animation and the character art kind of looked like they were just globs of color and lines and not really resembling people all that much. And that's not meant to be an insult towards Just Because or Stars Align. That's more of just a crunch thing. This show needed so much more time. It needed more time in the oven. It needed more episodes. But because of the grind that is the seasonal anime grind, <laughs> month to month to month, this show got shafted. Kazuki Akane got shafted. Now listen, I'm not the biggest Akane guy. I, like, yes, he made Escaflone. He has my respect. But I'm not, like, the biggest, like, oh my god, live and die for Akane type person. And he's, he doesn't really strike me as that kind of director anyway, where he has that kind of fan base. But even so, he shouldn't have to be this ride-or-die director to have his, his work finished. This man put so much effort into the show, and to see it be slapped down like that? Because, why? B because it doesn't have a pre-established fan base that you can milk money out of? See, this is where it gets hazy, right? Because apparently it was just from the higher ups, right? It was just like the producers or whoever. I don't know who it was who told Akane and his team over at Studio 8-Bit that they were only getting 12 episodes. I don't know who it was, but if it... it I. I don't know, I have no words right now. I'm actually seething with rage. I will say it makes a lot more sense. This is a show that could have been A tier, and honestly, if it doesn't get a season two, this is borderline C, because this is just incomplete. You have handed me an incomplete. This is like handing in the outline of an essay as your essay. 
Like, and that's not Akane's fault. That's not the fault of the folks over at Studio 8-Bit. That's like the hand that they were dealt. But at the same time, I have to question, like if you knew in spring that this was happening, you couldn't have tweaked the last couple episodes? You couldn't have done something, anything? That's not an ending. Like, like it doesn't end there. And I, I have to question, like, is Akane blameless? Or is some of the blame here on Akane as well? I don't think everybody's innocent in this situation. Except for the poor folks who got really invested. Like me. But even then, I'm not that innocent because I could see the signs. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was coming. They were cramming so much into 12 episodes. And that's the thing, is they were cramming so much into these 12 episodes. But it was still the same script. So it still had pacing issues. That doesn't go away even if they had 24 episodes because you'd cram too much into the front end. I couldn't even imagine what the back end looks like. But at the very least, if the audience knew that this was a two core series, it would have been easier to swallow some of the early pacing issues. But now, who the hell knows if we're even gonna get that? Because let me tell you, man, the, the, the amount of people I see talking about Stars Align ain't that much. They are ride or die fans but it ain't as much as other series. And I'm hoping and praying against hope right now, like praying against like the odds that this show does in fact get some kind of continuation. I don't even care if, if uh, Akane, listen to me. I don't care if you turn it into a manga, just continue that story because you cannot end it there. That's not an ending. Like, and I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming anybody. I, the only person I'm blaming is I, I even have a hard time blaming the producers because financially I can kind of understand why they would make that decision, kind of. But at the same time, it's it's still a stupid decision. Like it's still stupid, but at, at least I can understand from their point of view, like maybe Studio 8 but could be working on a more profitable franchise or some crap. I know it's gross and I agree it's gross, but I can at least somewhat understand that point of view. So it makes it really hard to point fingers and say you're wrong and you're wrong. It's more of a situation with the system itself. And I, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm really mad. This is less of a review and more of just a rant. I'm upset. Like I'm not just faking this shit for YouTube views or whatever the fuck, I'm, I'm actually pissed right now. And I'm not pissed at Akane, although I am a little bit. You knew this ending was coming and you still gave me this enticing ass ending and you're holding this ending hostage. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a little mad at you, Akane, a little bit. Not like actually like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not gonna write you hate mail or some crap. But I'm a little bit mad. As for the producers, I understand that you're looking for profitable franchises to animate. And don't get me wrong, I can think of several shows that deserve a second season before Stars Align. But you ever hear the phrase back by popular harassment? Because that's what's coming. I haven't even talked about the episode yet. And that's what really kills me. That's what really kills me. Is this episode was good. Like it wasn't perfect. It's not my favorite episode of Stars Align. That's still stuff from the early days. But this this episode was good up until like the 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 mid to latter half of, of the episode where we're once again thrown even more curveballs. Once again, it's all oh, Toma's mom's getting a divorce, and we never know who we never find out who Rintero's mom is. Never find out what Toma says to his brother. Never find out if Maki's gonna kill his dad with a kitchen knife. Never find out any of that stuff. And yeah, by the way, if you didn't see the episode, that happens. That's the last shot of the of the whole series. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? That ending blows my mind. Because on one hand, it's so enticing and it's such a good cliffhanger to end a core on, but to end the series on, no. And the episode itself is such a good, like the first, like maybe like two thirds of the episode is great. It's this awesome, like, and they, they finally got it. Like they finally figured out how to tell a mini arc within a, a match. A fight in, in any medium is meant to be a story told between two characters. And the same thing goes in sports anime with matches. And they finally figured out how to tell a solid story within a match. And I actually feel like the match between Riku and Sora versus Maki and Toma was actually a solid give and take. They actually told this really concise, solid little story between these two separate teams over the course of maybe 12 to 15 minutes. And it was it was glorious, it was glorious. And you, you actually came around on Riku and Sora a little bit. 
They they actually gave him some kind of some kind of arc. I, I actually felt like they grew. It, it reminds me a little bit of, of the whole Arashi arc where it actually felt like Arashi grew as a character and we saw that he did grow a little bit. He was a little less antagonistic. And if this was getting a second core, I would love to see how Riku and Sora would have kind of matured after this match uh, between Toma and Maki, how they realized that they're not indestructible you know that's a good little lesson to teach them and this whole quote-unquote bonus stage as taki sensei points out that this was basically just a bonus round for maki and toma seeing them have fun with tennis and smile and laugh was genuinely heartfelt and it's why the the next parts piss me off because if you knew that you were only getting 12 why would you end it there? This is the thing. I'm not mad because the ending was bad. I'm mad because you knew that you weren't getting another season and you gave us this cool ass like moment. Not, sorry, not another season, another core. And you gave us this cool ass like series of vignettes that we might not get a continuation of. And I get it. You're trying to bait people into getting that second core that you need to finish the rest of the story. I get it. And I really hope it works. But if it doesn't, you blew the chance to give this show a proper ending. The show deserved better than it got. Don't get me wrong. Like I said earlier, there's parts where it really reminded me of Just Because, where the, the animation is honestly sort of spotty. And that's here too. Like during the match, as much as I was praising the match earlier, there's a lot of reused animation again. But when it comes to sports anime, I can sort of stomach that. But at the same time, there's there's moments where the characters just like morph. Like they like when a character's head turns, it's less of a head turn and more like their head just kind of like morphs into a different spot. It's weird. And there and there's some cuts in here that are just bizarre. And I don't know. Like, visually speaking, it's not where it should be at, I think. I, I really think that the, the animation director, uh, Yu, uh, Yuichi Takahashi, really should have been keeping an eye on things more than they were. Um, I feel like this, like, a lot of animation here needed a lot more corrections than it got. And, and I, I feel like a lot of people were going, like, way off the reservation with how they were drawing certain characters. Even color design-wise, some of the characters' shirts would change color from scene to scene. It was really, really odd. And, I like, so visually speaking, I, I do understand if some folks might say that, like, the visuals of the show aren't, aren't that great. And if the visuals turn people off, I can kind of understand why. But for me, it was the story and the characters that, that really grabbed me. Because at first, like, like I said before, my first video on the series, the thumbnail straight up says I was wrong. Because I dismissed the show out of hand as just being like edgy bait, right? It was just trying to like be like, oh, it, like look how edgy this scene is. Look how, look how intense this scene is. Like it was just purposely trying to have as much drama as they could. And I was wrong for thinking that because the show was trying to tell a story about how adults who are just shitty parents, how that can affect their kids in negative ways and how bad parenting can have this really damaging effect on a young person's life. And I think that's a story worth telling. But I think somewhere along the line, either like Akane got too involved in his own story and didn't know when to stop and the producers were probably getting antsy because they it wasn't some profitable IP that they could bank money off of, that they knew that they would get some sort of return back. And I, and maybe the fact that Akane was adding too much, because it really does feel like sometimes he was just adding tragic backstories for the sake of having a tragic backstory. And I don't want to say that because I don't know that. I'm only speculating. But I, I don't know. Somewhere along the line, this really cool, this this cool little story with a solid message, got really muddled and confused, and you hate to see it. I'm uh, I'm, I'm gonna end my, my thoughts here. I was originally gonna give this episode a C, just because I was so angry, but it had nothing to do with the episode itself. Sure, the episode does have some janky animation, but there's good moments of animation too. And I think that overall the story was still pretty solid for the match, which took up most of the episode, so I can't give it any less than a B. And I still enjoyed two-thirds of the episode and I still enjoyed the ending 
but it just sucks that we'll never get that continuation to see what happens from this ending. Maybe we will. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, but I just, in the wacky world of anime where so many shows haven't gotten the second season yet, I just don't see it, but let's, let's try to be hopeful. Prayer circle for stars align. And uh, I guess I'm going to end this here. And that's going to do it for today's video, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Before we go, as always, I have to give a big, big shout out to the good folks over on Patreon, namely those in the Earl Grey tier. Calvin Atkinson, Crowbar of Irony, Ionos, Urza, Ginkotaku, Godzilla Fan, No For Nothing, Maria Teresa, Mirth Mouser, Cell, Shadow Creative, Sipco Games, Somastan, Steven, Sukochi, Tristan, and Veridan. Thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. It is so, so appreciated. And if you too would like to join the T-Squadron, then be sure to check out the first link in the description to check out our Patreon page, see all the cool rewards you can get over there, as well as access to our Patreon-exclusive Discord. But with all that said, everybody, I am going to take off. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you are feeling stressed out today, then you go have yourself a warm cup of tea. And I will talk to you all again real soon.